Hi, um, we came back. We have a really special guest today. So this is Connor and he is Jesse's son. And Connor was one of three of our first students ever at Peachwood Early Learning Center. And so he saw that his sister Ivory made a video with me the other day. And so he wanted to come and make a video too. And I am so pleased that he's here with us. And then we have Natalie, who usually doesn't come near me. <laughs> so we're gonna have fun making Play-Doh for you guys. What I wanna tell you about um, making Play-Doh or anything that you do with your kids is don't focus on the end result. Focus on getting there and making every part of it enjoyable. So for a parent, what you need to do is take a breath and slow down and be prepared. Be prepared for things being thrown on the floor. Now, as you can see, we have it all here because if I was going over and trying to get cinnamon, <laughs> Dana's coming, Dana's coming. If I was coming over and trying to get cinnamon, most likely they would take it and throw the flour on the floor. So that's a good reason to be prepared. Um, they want to touch things. They want to smell things. They want to taste things. So that's part of making it enjoyable instead of we're just going to throw everything in the bowl and quickly make Play-Doh. We'll see you in a minute. We'll see you in a minute. Do you want to put this in? You want to help? Can you put it in the bowl? I can. You want to touch it? You want to touch it? Now, Connor, you want to do it? Yeah. Can you touch it? Oh. So I like to get lots of different measuring spoons and things so that everybody gets a turn. You want to do it again? Here, Natalie. You did it all by yourself. Oh, good job. You want to see Connor do it? You want to give Connor a turn? Like, is it soft? <gasps> is it hard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> soft. What does it feel like on your finger? Connor, you want to touch it? Yeah. Is it soft? <laughs> you want to do it There's more, there's more. It could go there too. <laughs> you wanna do this one? You wanna taste it, Connor? <laughs> you don't? Why, cause you know, right? Is it, is it sugar? No, what is it? Salt. <laughs> she said if you eat too much of that, you could die. So you know. Well, you can't die. Who told you that? <laughs> Grandma Judy told you that? Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> I, I don't know if you could die eating salt. In my, I don't think you'd want to. Well, too much of it. Too much of it. Yeah, your turn. turn. Do you want to taste it? You want to smell it? What's it smell like? Here, Natalie, do that. Ooh. Now put, like, taste it. What's it taste like? You want to taste this? <laughs> Gotta lick your finger. Is it sweet? No. No. 
Do you want to dump some in? Stir. Connor's turn. Show her how. Put your hand in circles. Wanna try now? So why Natalie's learning to stir, you can do this with cake mix, cookie mix, and then after we stir and we um put the, we like, I like to put it in these bags and then I let the kids squeeze the bag and that helps to build up their hand coordination and their strength so that when they get into kindergarten, they are better at writing. We like to do things like this to teach and strengthen their hands versus like make them just sit there and write their ABCs. Instead, we find ways to get them active and interacting with something fun but there's a purpose to it, is that we're wanting to build those fingers and the strength of their fingers. Wanna pour the rest of that one in? Oh, Natalie. Did you, have to play Did you, are you wearing it on your shoe? It's all over your shoe. Do you wanna pour this one in? This one's a liquid. There you go. And of course, if we have 12 kids and everybody has to get a turn. Yeah. Do you want to grab our water, Dana? Yes. You want to stir a little bit, Connor? It all goes in. So I think how much water do we need? Like It's the perfect amount. It's the perfect you can amount. Pour it all in. Woo! So I always tell the kids, I usually do the water because it's hot. Um, and I like to have one of these in my room because then I don't have to bother the kitchen and I'm able to do hot chocolate. I'm able to do uh, Play-Doh. I'm able to do, I even like to get the little cooking ovens and then we can make our own cookies because sometimes our kitchen's really busy. Sure. Did it get on your shoe? Yeah. Did it? You want to stir? You want to make a noise for her when she's stirring? What noise would you make? I don't know. Don't you don't. I'm like an. <laughs> Do you have a funny noise you can make while she's stirring? You're making the noise. Do you have a funny noise? You don't have a funny noise. We might need our Play-Doh is a little wet for the recipe. We need more flour. We need more flour. We do. Start scooping it in here, Connor. You want to start scooping it in? It's hard, isn't it? See, we're building up Connor's strength today, too. I know I did yesterday. You built up your strength yesterday? Yeah, because I had to bring in... I don't know what it's called, but concrete square 
our blocks. For our garden. Yeah. So whenever you're doing anything like this with the kids, like I said, it's really good to be have everything already prepped mm -hmm. so that you're not walking away. Like you can play with even things like slime, but if you turn your head for a second and answer the phone, it will get in their hair and in their t-shirt. So <laughs> whatever you're doing, make sure that you're ready to take, play complete attention to what's going on. I'm filling up the bag. And then if it was cookie dough, um, after it's mixed, I would cut a little hole here, and then the kids can squeeze it out for individual cookies. And so now, is it cold? It's warm? Uh-huh. And you wanna watch them because some of the kids will get a little aggressive and then suddenly you have a hole in the bag and Play-Doh going everywhere. These are all the things that I've learned with Watching what kids will do, they are very, you never know what they're gonna do. So you just gotta learn to smile and laugh and be willing to be messy. Um, but this is what makes their life more interesting and it gives you great memories. And the biggest thing is to be prepared, to make a plan. So, thank you.